I'm back, people. What are you doing? I'm, I'm grown. <laughs> you know, I'm grown. Yeah, 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 I'm grown. Pillow talk. This ain't for everybody. It's for the grown folks. Here it is. Hello Thanks for tuning in to Lifeline where we live, lean, and longer. This is our pillow talk edition. And of course, we've been sharing with you principles for relationships and to help you grow as a partner in your relationship. Our first principle we brought up last time and our 16 principles and our 16 anniversary was communication and communication is key. With that being said, we understand communication is the blood and the lifeline for the relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you cut off communication, it's literally like putting a tourniquet on the area that you mm -hmm. cut off communication. That area would die quick and fast. What you got, baby? So there was something that I saw that was very interesting. It says the most commonly reported major contributors to divorce are lack the of commitment, infidelity, and conflict and arguing. The most common final straw reasons are infidelity, domestic violence, and substance use. Most participants blame their partners, mm -hmm. then blame themselves for the blame divorce. Blame game, the blame game. So as we were talking, I said, well, if there was communication, it could have strengthened the commitment. It could have prevented the infidelity, and it definitely could have prevented the conflict and the argument. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about commitment. Let's Commit talk about it. As we jump in there, commitment and communication is key. Both of them play hand in hand. Let's make commitment even now in the comments. Drop the D word oh. in the comment and just say D word. We're not going <laughs> to use the whole word anymore from now on. We only saying the D word. And let's make a commitment not to bring that up in our relationship. Yeah. But communication is part of that. That's a commitment between both of us. Uh, I mean, the whole time we've been together over 16 years, I mean, the D word haven't came up at all is because we have made a decision, a conscious decision mm -hmm. that that's not an angle or that's not an exit that we have in our relationship. It's not an option. It's not an option. Up to death. Do it for head in. Because you got to have that. And then what I mean, as we communicate, we learn to communicate with each other. You got to realize your partner is giving off body language. Your partner is communicating verbally mm -hmm. as well as non-verbally. And so sometimes you got to be able to read them skills. And I know as males, sometimes we go by what we see. And also you got to play off what you hear as well. So you might be saying one thing, but you can read somebody body language and get and something, totally different. something totally different. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I, I agree with everything. I feel that, um, again, and I've said this in a previous video, um, I think that sometimes you're afraid. You're afraid to speak with the person yeah. that you should be most vulnerable with. Why can't I tell you my deepest, darkest secrets, my deepest, darkest feelings, my deepest desires? Why can't I tell you that if you're the person that I'm supposed to be vulnerable with? When you bottle all of that stuff in, you, it's going to cause mental anguish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that stuff can, um, what what's the word? manifest yeah, itself physically yeah. it's going to have a spiritual effect on you and it's just going to affect your relationship all the way around sometimes it messes with your finances how does it mess with your finances well if i'm struggling with something you i don't know if you pulling up videos secret counseling sessions i don't know what but I kind of mm -hmm. messed it up. Videos like porn or uh, something. You <laughs> that was what she meant no. to say. Uh, fans My mom only. is going to get me. Fans only. Are you doing something <laughs> outside of because you're scared to communicate My with your partner? And you. sometimes you got to realize what you're saying. A partner will take finance or something else to compensate for what they're dealing with. Yeah, Meaning if I'm not getting what I need, I might go shopping. If I don't get what I need from you, I might pay somebody else to get it. And I jokingly say all the time, that's what men do when they go to the strip club and even some mad females. Now, I mean, when you go there, all you're doing is you paying for pleasure. It's, it's because now you're missing something or you desire something. But what and so I'm paying to get that. So what you're doing, 
you paying for that attention. Sometimes you're getting oh, what you're not getting home. And then now that, the, ego. the entertainment part yeah, of the okay. whole nine yards. So don't act like you don't pay to play because it's all <laughs> part of it. And people jokingly say you do the same thing when you're in marriage. You're paying something. And it's a little bit of truth to that. And that's what you have to learn if you want to be a communication. And you got to make a commitment that you're going to be a better communicator with your partner so you can't have a better relationship, relationship yeah. that's it listen if you like this make sure you like this video make sure you share this video but most of all make sure you live this video let's do life together it's the pillow talk connection